Okay, so this is my review of some accessories I bought for the Yami Yi. Um, it was late at night, uh, Mrs Tigger had gone up to bed to read a book and I was just shutting down the computer. I'd hunted through all the channels and nothing on the telly, obviously. And uh, just happened to come across, looking on uh, the websites and Yami Yi and accessories. And I came across this little box of accessories, which I thought would be good. Um, it was late at night, as I said, and I pressed the order button. So, uh, and then thought about it ever since. So, uh, but uh, this, I'm just gonna have a run through of what you actually get here. Basically, it's a screen and an extra large battery uh, for the uh, Yami Yi, which is really good because it gives you a lot more uh, time to be filming. Quickly get that out of there. There we go. So uh, um, it's a uh, sorry 2400 uh, milliamp hour. So it's got uh, a lot more power than the original. Um, so that's really good. Um, and the other things you get in here: uh, USB uh, to micro. Uh, that's to actually charge this one. There we go. And then accessories in here because you have a, an underwater housing. And let me just get that out of there. There we go. Oops, sorry about the noise. Oops, there we go. There we go. Now, um, your ordinary underwater house isn't going to be any good if you put the screen on. So that's why they give you this as well, which seems quite good. Let me just get it all out. Okay, so uh, let's just go through what we get here. We've got these little accessories um, that clamp onto the bottom here and give you access to other accessories then for mounting it on uh, a tripod etc and you've got you've just got those three basically but uh, that, there's loads that you can attach it to um, or then you could add to it as well so basically uh, basic underwater housing uh, very simple to use and then the uh, stock Yami Yi will go in no problem at all And there we go and all your buttons will work so uh, and you can still see the LEDs and everything so you know um, that it's working which is rather good I think there we go so let's just pop that out and then the nice thing about this setup whoops I can never get these things out <laughs> but the nice thing about this setup if I can never get them out there we go um, is that if you uh, you take this off and then you've got a deeper housing so that you can then use the other accessories. Uh, the only thing I slightly dislike about this, and I mean probably the only way they could do it, is you just have to prise it out of there really. Um, it, it is quite a prize uh, to push it out. I'm just frightened about cracking it but I think it's a pretty strong plastic actually. And I found a little technique that if you just hold that there on underwater housings, if you've got to change anything, you can then just get that hinge back in again which uh, makes it a lot better. There we go, so I'll just push that in a little bit. It's awkward to do leaning over the table, to be honest, but it does go in okay. And obviously, I'll just turn the camera off. Once the camera's in, you've then got a lot of space at the back here to get these other accessories in. So, uh, first thing we try is the, um, the screen. Um, it's a small screen on the back here. Uh, uses the uh, micro USB. Um, to actually power it and it's got the micro HDMI out so that means you you get the signal basically you get the picture so just slide that into there gently there we go so connecting through the two connectors actually makes it quite quite strong actually so it's uh, it's quite handy to get it back out of the uh, underwater housing with that and then you just simply close that back up there we go and then you've got and underwater housing all ready to go and just turn on the camera as you do normally and then you get the screen up straight away and it's actually ready before the camera will be ready it comes on straight away because the HDMI is on and then we're all ready to go um, you can uh, obviously start it recording you can turn on the uh, Wi-Fi as well if you want so um, the only thing I'm a bit disappointed about are two things. One, there's no information on here at all. So if I change it over to taking still photographs, it doesn't tell you that's what it's doing. And it doesn't 
tell you anything at all basically. I can't change any of the settings, I have to do that through the app, so um, it's just the way it is. Um, and I would have obviously preferred it as a larger screen, we're so used to large screens on the back of everything these days, uh, that would have been better. But apart from that, it's it does work, so it's quite handy. Um, uh, so you can actually really see what you're going to get uh, when you're filming and the nice thing about it so you don't drain your battery is you can just turn it on and off with this one so that just turns the screen off but the camera's still running so that's quite good so let me just swap that over so take that out and then there we go it's just a gentle fiddle out there we go and then I'm just going to change over to the large battery. So just take out this one. I'm not even sure this is a stock one. Uh, probably put a different one in it anyway. That's 1,010 milliamp hours. And this um, Super Tig one, who's uh, yeah, Tiggers RC sponsored, obviously, um, is actually um, 2,400. So it's nearly two and a half times the power of this one and it is considerably larger obviously and um, so that that's quite good that gives you a load more power so hopefully if it runs for two and a half times longer that that would be great uh, you charge this by using uh, a usb on the bottom here and uh, so you can charge it separately from the camera which is good and then it's exactly the same again just pop it into the underwater housing everything's protected then and then you've got a, a massive amount of battery power there and there we go. And uh, that's basically everything you get. Um, yeah, it works. Um, I'm quite glad because we've got an underwater housing now as well, so it's all protected. And I'm sure the screen will be handy um, uh, when you're not using the app or anything. It's, uh, it is a bit frustrating, you can't see anything. So uh, there we go, that's my review. I'll put links down the bottom. Oh, I'll put the weight of the extra, uh, having the extra battery on, because that's quite a bit heavier. I'll just pop that down the bottom there for you.